A new study suggests the coronavirus may have spread quickly around the world late last year. British researchers found nearly 200 mutations of the virus and say that may show how it evolved as it spread among people. The scientists also say that a large scope of the global genetic diversity is found in all of the hardest hit countries. As a result, that may mean the virus was spreading around the world earlier than previously thought. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Vin Gupta now joining us to talk about these findings. All viruses mutate, which is why our flu shot changes each year. But does these mutations factor into coronavirus vaccine development or the timeline for when we could see this first vaccine? It's an important question. And, and the short answer is we at some point have to say coronavirus looks the way it looks like right now on May, in the middle of May. And we're gonna take that blueprint and we're gonna build a vaccine off of it. And we hope, let's say by the fall, that that prediction was accurate, that it was safe and it was effective. And so we're hoping, there's uncertainty, that if there are additional mutations, that it doesn't impact the effectiveness of the vaccine to such a great degree that the whole venture isn't providing any benefit to human health. So there is uncertainty uh, for, for the reasons that you just raised. Mutations happen, we just hope they don't affect the implementation and effectiveness of the vaccine. I believe I heard you say the word hope three separate times there. Is hope tempered by optimism in your case? By cautious optimism, I would say. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that we'll have something in our pipeline, whether it's remdesivir, that therapeutic developed by Gilead, that I've given some of my own patients in the ICU. Cautiously hopeful that maybe that's causing a few of them to turn around. Maybe a vaccine. We have 80 companies working on a vaccine. So, of course, there's a lot of uh, brilliance, a lot of scientific rigor going into a lot of these efforts. I'm hopeful one of them will pan out. Without a vaccine in the near future and the economy struggling so mightily right now, some countries are considering immunity passports. Now, these would be certificates saying a person who has had COVID-19 and has recovered is now immune. These passport holders would then be free to travel and to return to work. But the problem here, Dr. Gupta, is the World Health Organization, the WHO, just released a report saying there is no proof people who have had COVID-19 are actually immune. Can you give us a sense of why you view this as risky? I, I think immunity passports right now are a terrible idea for the reasons you just mentioned. The report from the WHO is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much we don't know. The FDA just, just this week said, oh, by the way, of all the tests that have been given emergency use authorization, we need data now to see which one are fraudulent, which one are poor quality, which one are actually worth your time. So if we don't even know on the front end which test to, 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 to trust and to scale, how can we possibly trust the results of the test? So we need to figure out what antibody tests are right, what are not right, weed out the bad ones, focus on the good ones, and then better understand what's the clinical implications of being positive for an antibody. Does it actually mean you're protected from reinfection? We also don't know that. So how can we possibly be going towards issuing immunity cards? All it's going to do is promote bad behavior and less uh, cooperation with social distancing, wearing a mask. That's all it's going to do. So I hope countries walk this back. Yeah, and, and obviously this takes a lot of time to try to figure out all of this. And most of the world doesn't want to give the medical profession time. They want answers now. They want a vaccine now, but it's not happening. Dr. Gupta, thank you. We appreciate it. Can you, uh, you can catch up on the very latest tonight on Nightly News with Lester Holt. Dr. Gupta will have more. Thanks.